Christine from the European Startup Association, and I'm here with one of our investors and valued members, Amin, who is currently in Switzerland. And um, I'll let you introduce yourself, who you are, what you do, and uh, everything around it. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Uh, uh, thank you for having me today. Uh, it's very real pleasure to discuss with you and discuss with European Startup Association. Um, so, um, my name is Amin Tezi. I'm an investor and member of the European Startup Association. I have founded uh, recently AT Swiss Ventures, that is providing services for uh, investors and also startups. What we're trying to achieve is to disrupt and look for the teams that will change uh, the way they build the business. So, we are trying to not only invest in the startups, but also walk them throughout the journey. Um, in terms of um, priorities, we look at different verticals. These verticals have been talked about in terms of what we would like to do and what also we would like to bring expertise to. So it's deep tech, AI, ML, marketplace, mm -hmm. uh, SaaS and new enterprise, which are the main area of focus. We try to be focused on these areas because of what we said, we tend to invest in Switzerland and Western Europe as well because of the network we are trying to build. So this is a little bit the philosophy. Perfect. Thank you very much. And um, are there any favorite investments, not naming any names of uh, startups, but maybe main characteristics that you're looking for in startups that you invest in, apart from the industries that you mentioned, but maybe there's some specifics about the team or some specific characteristics about a stage or anything else that you are looking for in startups? I think that's an excellent question. I think uh, uh, we, 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 we tend to look at uh, a proven business model and uh, is it clear route to exit for this startup or is it just still in the thinking process? Is the startup can ideally and rapidly scale, including international scale up their uh, business? Mm -hmm. and, they, and also how big is the market size of the, of, the, of, the, of the opportunity? And is there any particular barriers to entry? Now, we discussed it at the beginning, the team is very important. So how these strong individuals have the background in terms of technical or business to build a high growth business. Mm. And also, I think for me, it's very important is what is the innovation bit, uh, truly innovative bit that is brought by the startup in the ecosystem. Yes, uh, very, very interesting. And that's also one of the criteria that we have for uh, startups that want to become a member of our association. In the application form, actually, there's a question, okay, what makes you innovative? Because uh, innovation is important and can mean different things. It doesn't necessarily have to mean any specific technology or something like that, but this is obviously one of the obvious ones. Um, in, in our case, we also a bit more open to other things, but it has to be innovative because, um, yes, like you say, it's difficult in these tight days to disrupt the market, but it's what you have to do if you want to be successful, really. So that's great. And is there any um, specifics where you say, okay, these were challenging, uh, these startups that we looked at were challenging, or we decided not to look into further into investing into a startup because of something specific that the startup didn't, fulfill? <laughs> I think it's an excellent question and it's not a one-size-fits-all answer. Yes. Uh, I think, uh, you know, you can do a certain level of due diligence when you're trying to invest, but basically it's down to the chemistry you will have as an investor with the founding team and how complementary the profile of the founders. I think that's very important. Uh, that's that's why why when you're asking me the previous question, when you kind of sense some uh, challenges within the team or capabilities, in order to take it. But I think this is also a role of investor. Can he see an opportunity to help and guide, uh, especially with nowadays what's happening, uh, to take them to the next stage? You know, and I think that's that's very important. That what into bracket someone would say the coachable dimension. 
that that's that's I think very important. Um, I think apart from that is is it the challenges um, the, that there's uh, to the question of innovation. There's there's um, there's the startup understand their competition very well. That they understand what kind of pivot they need to do. And you know this this shows you how nimble or agile a startup can be, uh, and 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 to move to the next stage. Uh, I think I think that's very important to to understand that it's not only about fundraising. But can you deploy capital smartly? Uh, that that's also very important. Uh, and take the product uh, ni nicely with the right features to the next level. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think it, it's very nice, and I hear this a lot from investors. And uh, I think this is how startups need to see it as well. An investor becomes basically part of your team because you are obviously interested in helping the startup and uh, the startup being successful. So they should be open to suggestions and not just the money from the investor and to be um, coachable, like you said, and um, have a good dynamic uh, with the investor and within the other team members. So I uh, completely agree. And, this is, I think, a mindset thing that the startups need to understand. Okay, an investor is not just someone who gives me some money and I can do some stuff um, and survive a bit longer, but an investor will be part of your team that you have to deal with in a responsible way and um, also uh, show some results, obviously. So, very good. And then uh, one of the last questions would be, is there a specific um, clause that you particular? I mean, there's uh, standard ones that are in, included in shareholders' agreements, but do you want to point out a few things that you normally include, um, especially if they're not the norm? <laughs> no, we, we, we tend to standardize uh, the clauses and because I think that at a certain stage you, you see and meet a lot of startups I think I think you need to be rather try to simplify the process and be a little bit upfront on expectations from both sides of the table. It is the process irrespective of of the discussion. And I think um, the the venture is not one round. No. So I think I think this is also a part of the mindset. If if you invest in in, in a startup and you build a relationship. You would like to build as well the bridges to have follow on rounds and to, to take, as I said at the beginning, the startup throughout the journey mm -hmm. to, to the other rounds. So I think I think that's very important because otherwise it's becoming already uh, some unsafe discussion or um, you're not focusing on the most important thing, right? Yeah, and looking into the future for future, um, yeah, continuous relationships that you're going to have. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So this is this is this is the, the answer to the question about about it. So thank you. And is there anything else you would like to share that you haven't shared with us yet um, uh, that I haven't asked? <laughs> I think I think um, Europe is is really doing a fantastic job. Uh, I mean, prior to this crisis, about uh, changing the ecosystem with different approach. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think what personally I'd like to see as a, as an investor is uh, more cross border deals happening, uh, especially in, in in Europe. I know that we tend to invest close to the geography we are or geography we we can operate, and I think at least this is part of our philosophy at AT Swiss Ventures. However, I think I think there is huge potential, uh, and also synergies can be built. Uh, between between the different players of the ecosystem. Yeah, we obviously totally agree because this is what we devoted our whole uh, association to. So amazing. Thank you so much for your time. And um, I'm looking forward to supporting you further as well with uh, Scouting Startups for You and anything else that you can think of that can help you. Thank you so much. Pleasure is mine. Thank you. <laughs>